multiverse. It's finally here, the first animated DC movie since the questionable Injustice adaptation, Catwoman Hunted. The first full-length animated Catwoman movie, and it certainly has a lot to be discussed. I'll put my review of the movie soon, but for now I wanted to go into the events of the ending, explaining them all in detail, and whether Catwoman Hunted could lead to a sequel. Full spoilers for Catwoman Hunted follow, so carry on at your own risk. First off, there is no Catwoman Hunted post credit scene, so don't bother forwarding through the credits looking for it, unless it's to see the cute pictures of Isis at the very end. There is therefore no specific tease for a sequel or a tie-in, but there are a number of story threads that could be returned to that are set up by the ending. As for the ending, let's go through some of the bigger questions you might have. Number one, is Barbara Minerva still alive? Well, Barbara Minerva's cheetah was impaled very horrifyingly on a series of metal bars and doesn't move again for the rest of the movie, it seems likely her god-given powers kept her alive. Cheetah is seen being wheeled away with an inhibitor collar on her, with all her wounds seemingly healed, suggesting she is alive, although probably won't go back to leading Leviathan anytime soon. So Catwoman knew about Leviathan all along? Yes, it seems so. Catwoman messed things up for Leviathan at Sochi and stole the Cat's Eye Emerald to get the attention of both the group and Batwoman so that Julia Pennyworth's team would give her backup when they all went for the Leviathan members. It's a rather convoluted plan with a lot of holes, but that's what happened apparently. Who is the leader of Leviathan? Much like in the comics, the semi-surprise reveal at the end states that Talia al Ghul, the daughter of Ra's al Ghul and one of the heads of the League of Assassins, is actually the shadowy leader of the Leviathan criminal organisation. Catwoman and Batwoman are both aware of this, suggesting conflict in the future, especially as Leviathan is just as strong by the end of the movie. What's next for Catwoman? Selina Carl ends the movie suggesting she's heading to London to steal the crown jewels from the Tower of London. It seems highly unlikely this is the case. If Selina's motives were actually about stopping Leviathan, then she may actually have work to do in London, perhaps in tracking down Talia al Ghul, as she's fully aware that Talia is the head of Leviathan and she really hates Catwoman. Finally, will there be a sequel to Catwoman Hunted? It entirely depends on the reception to the movie, whether it is well received by viewers, and whether it sells well. At the moment, nothing has been confirmed. In terms of story, however, Catwoman Hunted definitely leaves room for a sequel. Leviathan is still out there, the head of the organisation has been revealed, and Talia really wants to get revenge on Selina Kyle. Batwoman knows too, and Selina is free for now. A sequel could easily bring Batman to the mix, but hopefully we'll focus a bit more on Catwoman as a character. In short though, a sequel to Catwoman Hunted is very possible. Whether or not that would be a good thing though, is up to the viewers. Thanks for watching folks, what do you think about Catwoman Hunted? Do you have any questions about the ending or a possible sequel that I've not answered? If so, leave a comment below or head to the Inside the Multiverse Discord server which you'll find a link to in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe, that all really helps me out, and check out other videos on DC Comics Gamer, including similar ending explained videos on the Injustice movie and Batman The Long Halloween. Thanks for watching folks, and for now, Multiverse out.